everyone, Maria here from 527 Underground, and we are doing The Stop. The Stop, of course, is a place where I can, or Teddy, can be doing reviews on anything that we decide to collect on, or, you know, something that we purchased that's from a collector's aspect. Um, but today we're going to be doing an unboxing for the Wizarding Trunk. So, so far, my videos for The Stop has been for the Wizarding Trunk, and I promise it'll change up. But I wanted to talk to you guys about this particular box. Now, this particular box is the Keep Collecting box. And this actually was um, made with the Wizarding Trunk, also with Peter Kenneth from the Potter Collector, which he has an amazing YouTube channel, which I follow. Um, I'm a fan of his as well. But for this particular box, this is what made me want to subscribe um, to the Wizarding Trunk because I saw a lot of his reviews, meaning Peter Kenneth. I saw a lot of his reviews on the Wizarding Trunk and I love the items that were coming out of those description boxes. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to check it out. And being that he was going to be selecting or designing or he has a lot of input in this particular box, I jumped in and I decided to order it. So that was the first box I ever ordered from the Wizarding Trunk because I knew that he has awesome taste. Um, and then ever since then, I've been very happy with the boxes that I have received so far for the Wizarding Trunk. But this one I had to order sometime in the summer, and I received it in January. So, this is the box. Keep collecting box. Um, he likes to always say fragile, which is a fragile and magical item. So, they actually put it on the box. Um, it's fragile delivery, and it's very cool. Now, here's the thing. I know what's in the box because I did see the spoilers on his videos. He actually did a review on his, well, he didn't do a review, but he was showcasing all the items that will be in the box and I already saw them. Um, I didn't see them in person though, so the box has not been opened, um, but I was a little bit underwhelmed, which I hate to say because um, I was, I had a very high expectations knowing that he was going to be the one selecting or designing or has input in this box so when i saw this stuff on the screen i'm like mm, i was a little underwhelmed and then i'm actually a little nervous actually you know of making this video because i don't want to offend anyone and i first want to say you know congratulations to him for making this box with the wizarding trunk i think it's an awesome thing um but from what i saw in the video i was like this is not what i was hoping for maybe when I see it in person I'll have a different point of view so with that being said let's see what this box has to offer uh, actually to see it in person <laughs> all right so opening up the box for the very first time and it has the letter from him thanking everyone for choosing the box and uh, let's jump in so we have an envelope here and in the envelope is a library card go foiled library card in the back we have a hall pass, beautifully designed. Also gold foiled, nothing in the back. And then we have a class schedule. So that's also beautifully designed. Now, when it comes to collecting for me personally, and this is just my opinion, I am not a fan of paper items. Not. Um, it's cool to have, but you know, at any point, and of course when it comes to, you know, collecting stuff, things could get damaged, but paper is not within my thing in terms of what I want to get or what I want to collect. Um, but I mean, the design is beautiful. The gold foiling is amazing. It looks fantastic, and I believe this is supposed to represent Ravenclaw uh, because these are supposed to represent the house traits from what he has explained. So, I'm not a f again, I'm not a fan of paper items. Um, so that's that's just my opinion. It's again beautifully done, but I don't see the, the 
point of having paper items. Sometimes they slip it in in the previous boxes from Wizarding Turns that I've received. They'll have like the, the, you know, certain tickets or whatever here and there, you know, or the book covers and stuff like that. That's fine. But if this is one of the key component co components of a uh, Ravenclaw house or whatever, like this is not this is not for me. Again, beautifully designed, but not for me. Um, School documents. Wisdom is the application of knowledge. Hungry for wisdom, eagles are eager to wholeheartedly engage in classes. Your class schedules, library card, and hall pass should set you on the course to wizarding wisdom. Um, we have a pen. Very big pen. Heavy pen. Here it goes. Nice, heavy, beautifully designed. Lots of, you know, detail in it. Um, yeah, this is, this is very pretty. Very nice. Metal of Chivalry Pin. The Lion House founder was marked by integrity and readiness to help others. May we be swift like the brooms on which we ride to help and cheer on those who need support and assistance. For your outstanding acts of service, we bestow upon you this medal of chivalry. A very big items, gloves. Again, if I'm not jumping for excitement, it's because I do know what's in the box. Um, I'm just uh, recording this from a point of view of, you know, seeing it in person finally and receiving it. So these are supposed to be like gardening gloves or dragon scaled gloves. Um, Dragon hide gloves. So they're right there. I don't see, um, you know, I guess this is cool to have if you want to, you know, display it. But dragon hide gloves. The dragon hide gloves. Badges are known for the diligence and work ethic. Hard workers need a quality dragon high glove to protect them from the dangerous and poisonous plants and magical beasts. These dragon high gloves are ready for your next assignment. We have another pin of Mr. Dumbledore played by Peter Kenneth himself. Sorry for the glare. Headmaster's pin. The headmaster's office is lined with portraits of previous headmasters. As a bonus item, enjoy this portrait pin of our favorite headmaster, or is it? Keep collecting. Okay, what else do we have here? We have a green little satchel. And what's inside? A school award. Honor for special services to the school. Service award. Serpents are ambitious and remain focused on achieving their goals. Some achievements are worthy of receiving rewards. Display your school service award with honor. Moving on to the next one. Have a box it looks like a quidditch box has the same emblem as the pin and these are supposed to be the um, meditation balls there are two and then they have two holders inside. You can rest them there. Um, they look like they're made out of metal and there's no way that I have, my hand is big enough to actually twirl them around. They're not supposed to touch each other. Um, but yeah, these are, I believe, meditation balls. Um, 
nice design. Reminds me of Quidditch, you know, one of the Quidditch balls. Boarding balls. Badgers display patience. Boarding balls are used for relaxation and focus. These were designed to resemble the mischievous iron sports balls of the wizarding sport. If you display patience while learning to control the boarding balls, you will improve your focus to remain on your broomstick where flying iron spheres come your way. What else is in the box? We have a sword! And again, always well packaged. These guys always package their items fantastic to make sure that by the time they arrive to you, because you know, uh, you know, when they're being shipped, everything is kicked around, pushed around, falls and stuff like that. And by the time it lands in, into your hands, most of the items, well, well, so far, all the items that I've received from the Wizarding Trunk has been in perfect condition. And I've even had glass in some of these boxes and it's been in perfect condition. Um, this is a sword. Jewel. It's supposed to be the Gryffindor sword, I believe, or the Gryffindor house. And this is supposed to be a pen. So that's cool. The sword pin. Lions are brave. That bravery was evident on many occasions when the sword presented itself to the house lions. Use this sword with the bravery. What else? What else? All right, we have a box here. And it's a potion. With the eagle on it, representing Ravenclaw. Nicely done. The label's beautiful. The color is very cool. Representation of Ravenclaw. So, with strengthening potion. Hmm. With strengthening potion, eagles possess mental sharpness and intelligence. With strengthening potion enhances the eagle's natural ability to achieve the unthinkable. I see a big box here. I'm calling my attention since I opened up this uh, shipment. I already know what this is. And it is a coin bank. This is a very, very, very cool design. I mean, wow. This is very cool. This is an awesome design. It has a little section here in the bottom. I can pull this out. Maybe I'm not supposed to pull it out. I don't know. Oh, there it goes. It's a hole in the bottom so you can get your stuff when it's time for you to use that rainy day fun. Pop it back in. Very simple, very easy. It's nice and sturdy. Um, again, the design is beautiful. This is very, very cool. And of course, you know what house this represents, Slytherin. So, beautiful design. I'm excited to put this on my bookshelf. So, this is very nice. This is very cool. Coin bank. Serpents are resourceful in difficult situations. The secret chamber is a clever place to save things for future purpose. This coin bank will help you plan for future or provide a secret chamber for your valuables. And do we have anything else here? Okay, so. I saw that he actually had designed from inspiration from one of his, one of the uh, Potter Collector fans. Um, cards like postcards and these are it and each, each one has the house colors so we have green blue back is blue and you're supposed to fold these up this is the folding section here you write whatever you want to write yellow and of course, burgundy. 
And these ones are supposed to represent the houses, of course. And you fold them up and then you put them in the envelope that is here. Again, another paper item. Greeting cards. Each house's stationery is represented in this collection. Who will you influence with your written words? And then we have the sheet explaining all the items, which of course, as always, beautifully designed. Um, the lion, the badger, the eagle, the serpent, the houses. And each one is supposed to rep represent, um, you know, the house. So the sword pen and the magical chivalry pen, pin, um, is the pin and the sword pen. It's supposed to represent Gryffindor, the lion. The badger has the dragon hide gloves and the boating balls, which is these two items representing the badger. The eagle, the school documents, which is the stuff that's inside the envelope, and the wit strengthening potion are representing Ravenclaw. And for the serpent, the service award, the service award, and the coin bank. Okay, I found this on the web for a service award in a coin bank. Check it out. <laughs> Hopefully that didn't get picked up, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it did. But of course, you know, she's always listening. Um, I apologize, but the service award and the coin bank. These are the ones that came in and they're representing the serpent, which is Slytherin. Um, the greeting cards and the headmaster pin represents all the houses. So here's the thing. Everything is beautifully designed as always. What I could have done without was the dragon high gloves and the greeting cards and the uh, <laughs> documents for, you know, Ravenclaw. Um, these three, you know, are, yeah, I had said the documents, the gloves, and the cards, yes. So these three, I could have done without. Um, not I those are my least favorites to be honest with you um, the coin bank beautifully done the pin also beautifully done a lot of detail um, the potion is really cool again it's not one of my top things um, I think out of all the stuff that I see in the box this is my favorite so this is really cool I can't wait to start using this this is really nice um, but honestly I don't know if there was a situation going on where, um, cause I did, I do know that some, one of the items that they wanted to put inside the box, the majority of the shipment was broken and they had to come up with something at the last minute. I appreciate the fact that they went to the next level to give us something at the last minute, um, which I'm pretty sure was probably like the postcards or something like that. I feel that, um, it's not, and I, and, and I, <laughs> um, it's not one of my favorite boxes as much as I want to say that it is because I do love Peter Kenneth. Like I, 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 I enjoy his videos. I get a lot of information whenever he goes to the parks and stuff like that. He, he's very good and detailed and showing what the prices are for all the items that have come out in the parks, even the New, the New York store for Harry Potter. So I'm not trying to, um, you know, hate on his vision. Um, everything is beautifully designed, but for me personally, it's not my, you know, it's not anything that makes me jump, um, as much as the other items. The last box that I received, which was for Dumbledore's army or for the, it was all themed by Phoenixes and stuff like that. Um, that was an amazing box, but my thing is that I had to pay more for this particular, uh, box. I believe it was $79, um, plus tax and shipping. And 
the usual boxes that I get from the Wizarding Trunk so far are $65, including shipping and tax and all that stuff. So the fact that I have to pay more for this and I'm getting a percentage of the items that I'm getting are paper-based, meaning the cards, the library card, the hall pass, um, the gift, the, 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 the postcards, um, those things are not, for me, worth the money to jump on this <laughs> on this box if i would have known that a percentage of it was going to be paper based like just paper collections i don't think i would have ordered it again you know i understand the situations come up and that one of the items which probably was maybe one of their most fantastic items for this box a large a section of it was broken so um you know i don't know what else to say like I said, when I first saw the video, I was excited. I didn't want to have any spoilers, but again, you know, everybody has the curiosity and stuff like that. I checked out the videos. I saw how hard they worked. I saw the fact that they had to, you know, they, I saw how Wizarding Trunks do their thing. Um, and the fact that they work so closely together. I'm rooting for Peter Kenneth for the next box. I don't know if I would <laughs> order uh, another Keep Collecting box. Maybe it'll be better. Um, and I understand that when it comes to this whole COVID situation, um, a lot of the items that were probably chosen to come in couldn't come in in time because there's a delay in shipments. Um, and I respect the fact that they, you know, worked so hard in making these wonderful subscription boxes, you know, come to us. But yeah, that's just, I'm just wanting to be honest. I don't want to say this is great and I don't like it, you know? So like I said, I'm not a fan of anything paper, paper product. Um, but I wish for the amount of extra money that I had to pay for this box, that there would have been less paper items and more physical items like this awesome coin bank. Um, and that's pretty much it. So again, you know, thank you for checking out 527 Underground. If you have any questions or, or any requests that you want us to follow or want us to look into, please send us a message at 527 Underground on Instagram or at 527 Underground on Facebook. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. It will help us out in any way. And um, yeah, thank you for stopping by. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you, guys. Bye.